Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. We are getting ready to begin our program. But before we begin, Seattle Public Schools acknowledges that we are on the ancestral lands and traditional territories of the Puget Sound Coast Salish people. Thank you for joining Seattle Public Schools leadership and the school board of directors for the beginning of a very important conversation. I'm your host, Rocky Torres, Associate Superintendent of Seattle Public Schools. Please note that we are streaming this session live on YouTube. Our extended audience is able to see the presentation portions of our program this evening. However, the conversations that occur in your breakout groups and at your tables will be without full audio. We also want to welcome members of the media who may be watching or attending tonight. We want to allow our families to feel as free to participate as possible and share openly. If we could, board directors who are in the room, if you could please stand. We can give a round of applause for our board of directors. <laughs> so why are we here? Tonight we are here to share our ideas of how to reimagine our school system in the face of budget challenges. As we believe, we can use this as an opportunity to get better at what we do, to be stronger, to be more equitable. So each and every student, teacher, and family have access to what they need to succeed. We must evaluate how to create and pay for a just school system that puts every student on the path to success. We are calling this well-resourced schools, and we want your ideas on how to create them. You'll hear more about what this means in a minute from Dr. Jones. Before we do that, our goals for this conversation tonight and overall is to gather your input on our schools in order to make effective decisions about major Seattle Public Schools initiatives and issues that are on the horizon, including well-resourced schools planning, budget planning, strategic planning, and levy planning. We have organized five engagement sessions for Seattle Public Schools families across the regions of the district. Seattle Public Schools will round out this in-person series with an online session on August the 29th. The district will also offer additional opportunities for internal Seattle Public Schools staff, board, and community partners to participate in similar sessions. Before we hear from Superintendent Jones, let's review the timeline. Here is what we know thus far. There will be no site consolidations and or closures for the 23-24 school year. In September 2023, an electronic survey will be released to district-wide to families, high school students, staff, and community partners to gather additional input. The input gathered from this meeting series and the survey will be compiled and will inform the superintendent's recommendations for the 2024-2025 school year. One of the questions we've been getting is when, we, when will we know more specifically from these sessions? And we're looking to have that data for you already by November of 2023. If y'all can say it with me, November of 2023. And without further ado, I have the distinct pleasure of inviting up our superintendent, Dr. Brent Jones. All right, thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, I know there was other things you could be doing, but you ch chose to prioritize being in this space with us today. Um, what this whole endeavor is, is around what are, what's your vision? How are we developing priorities for us going forward? Uh, if, we, if you think back five, six years ago, we had a strategic plan that we were developing, and we had similar rooms like this where we brought folks together to really understand who are we as a district and what do we want for our children? We had a, a very bold, ambitious strategic plan that emerged from that. We're hoping that this dialogue that, we have in, that we're having today, as well as four nights, four nights ago, have been fruitful enough 
that we can have a direction and a prior prioritization of what's really important for our, our schools. And this all coming together around a system of well-resourced schools. So uh, again, I'm just grateful that you're here today. Uh, we've had uh, four sessions, they've been packed, people have been engaged. I'm expecting that, that same thing to happen tonight. So when we talk about well-resourced schools, we're really talking about how much service are we providing students and what type? What type of programs do we have for students? How are we using our building spaces wisely? As you heard Dr. Torres talk about, we have a strategic plan coming up. We have a levy uh, that we're preparing for. We have budget challenge that we need to manage through and just a daily uh, decision making that we have. And so us understanding from community what a well-resourced a system of well-resourced schools are is really important on, on many fronts. And so uh, we are at a financial crossroads. Uh, this, last, this last year, 23-24 uh, planning, we had a $131 million budget deficit. This coming year that we have to prepare for is a $105 million deficit. To, to deal with that, we need to be able to make sure we understand what your priorities are. As I, as I mentioned in a, the last couple of sessions, we can do anything, but we can't do everything. And so we wanna make sure that we are prioritizing what's important to you. Uh, and I think that's gonna be really helpful for us moving forward. Um, I know that there's also a lot of talk about uh, school consolidations. And we talked about we're not having school consolidations at 23, 24, and that is true. But we need to make sure that we understand uh, again, our budget parameters and what we might need to do. So if we were to go down the path of consolidating schools, hopefully that would be an opportunity to have more services, more programs, uh, more opportunities built into that model. We don't know what that looks like yet. It's gonna be determined on what we, what we hear from you all. And so uh, I'm really excited that we have this opportunity to talk about how we can develop thriving schools. Uh, Seattle is a fantastic, school district by all metrics. Uh, we, we know that we have great teachers, we know we have great leaders, we have great staff at Seattle Public Schools, and you stack us up against anyone, we can, we can prove that. And so we wanna, we wanna maintain that. And then there's areas where we need to improve, we need to make sure that we do that uh, going forward. So tonight is really important for us to get your feedback. I'm hoping like the other sessions, the other four sessions that we've had, you all will lean in, you'll, you'll listen to the questions, you'll follow up, you might have a little healthy debate at your table. I didn't see any fighting at the last couple, couple of meetings, but that's all right if you do. That means it's, it's vigorous. That means there's some energy in the room. So without further ado, we wanna really make sure that you all have the opportunity to talk with each other and to us. We will work diligently. We will work diligently to pull all those data together and, and push that back out in a way that's coherent and cohesive so that we have a direction for the future. So without further ado, I'm gonna ask uh, Associate Superintendent Torres to come back up and we can get started. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm gonna go through a little bit of the logistics for the evening and then we're gonna, we're gonna jump right in. So we're gonna go over uh, three topics this evening. The first one being school building and learning spaces. Then we're gonna get into support services and resources. And then we're gonna get into academic and extracurricular programs. The way it'll work is there's a framing question for each of those, and then we'll give some think and write time. So I will announce the framing question, give you all some time to write. There's some post-it notes on your table so you can take down anything you're thinking about the topic. And then there are Seattle Public Schools facilitators at your tables and in your areas. So I'm just gonna ask the facilitators now to just check around. You may have to cluster. Uh, the facilitators will do that for us. If they can look around and make sure we just have facilitators dispersed throughout. Once we are done with the five minutes of think and write time, we'll open it up for conversation and the facilitators will move you wrong, along and ask you, tell me more, those sort of things, make sure we have equity of voice in the space, et cetera. At the end of 15 minutes, I'll put a hands up and I'll say hands up and I'll start calling on the facilitators. So for example, I may say, John Houston, thank you so much for your hand, et cetera. Dr. Campbell, thank you so much. And then we'll all come together and say, all right, this, we're done with this conversation and then I will share out two to three overarching themes that we've heard on that specific topic. 
Once that's done, we'll do one minute of go ahead and post your notes. So all the post-its, everything you've written, if you could, you'll see these big post-it pads around the room. They are titled. So for example, our first conversation is going to be on school buildings. Any post-it notes, thoughts, ideas, stories you want to share, make sure that they make it up to that, to that, po that big post-it note because that's how we're going to capture some of the data. Once you do that, we'll come back together. We'll do another hands up with facilitators, and then we'll get into our second conversation same, same routine, and then we'll close out the evening at the end of it. So without further ado, I'm going to start us in our first conversation. Our first topic is school buildings and learning spaces. When we say school buildings and learning spaces, what we're talking about is the actual physical building, like when you're in the space at your kid's school. Framing question, what are your favorite things about our school buildings? Framing question, what are your favorite things about our school buildings? If you could please take five minutes of think and write time now. Our first conversation should focus on school buildings and learning spaces. Framing question, what are your favorite things about our school buildings? Two more minutes of think and write time. Two more minutes of think and write time. As a reminder, we're on school buildings and learning spaces. The framing question for your thinking, what are your favorite things about our school buildings? Just over a minute before we begin conversations. Topic, school buildings and learning spaces. Framing question, what are your favorite things about our school buildings?
Okay, facilitators, if you can begin conversation, 15 minutes on this topic in conversation, 15 minutes.
Time check for facilitators. Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes on this topic and conversation. Ten more minutes. As a reminder, we're on school buildings and learning spaces. Time check for facilitators, just over five minutes, just over five minutes left on this conversation and topic.
Two more minutes. Two more minutes on this topic and conversation. Okay, facilitators, hands up. Facilitators, hands up. John Houston, I see you. Zach, I see you. Katie Pearl, thank you so much. Dr. Campbell, I think I might see you. I'm not sure. Dr. Eichner, thank you so much. Dr. McCarthy, thank you. Okay, I'm going to share out a couple of themes from our first conversation. Some of what we heard, the idea of green space and or gardens at our schools, the idea of mixed use spaces, the idea of safety, safety is very important. Mix of old and new school buildings. And finally, student work on display that represents the students of the school. So we're gonna do one minute, if you could, one minute to please post your post-it notes up on the chart paper and then we'll get ready with our second conversation. One minute. Thirty more seconds, thirty seconds. Ten more seconds, ten seconds. Okay, facilitators, hands up. We're getting ready for round two. Facilitators, hands up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Campbell, I see you. I know you love your shout out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Our second topic for this evening is around support services and resources. Our second topic for the evening is around support services and resources. If you're thinking, what is this? Think about mental health services. Our framing question for this topic is, how could we make resources and or services at each school stronger? Topic, support services and resources. Framing question, how could we make resources and or services at each school stronger? Please take five minutes of think and write time.
just over two more minutes of Think and Write time. Topic, support services and resources. Framing question, how could we make resources and or services at each school stronger? One more minute, one more minute. Okay, facilitators, if you could, please begin conversations. 15 minutes.
Time check, just under 10 minutes, just under 10 minutes. Seven minutes, seven minutes left on this topic in conversation. As a reminder, we're on support services and resources.
two more minutes, two more minutes on this topic and conversation. Okay, facilitators, hands up. Hands up, facilitators. Dr. Eichner, thank you so much. Meg, thank you so much. I see you. Who else is out there? Zach, thank you so much. Tom, thank you. Okay, I'm going to go over some of our themes from our second conversation. Facilitators, themes from our second conversation. Reminder, our topic was support services and resources. Here are some of the themes. Staff for social emotional learning support at schools. More dedicated counselors at the secondary level. And clearer private public partnerships between our schools, our community based organizations and the city of Seattle. If you could take one minute to put your post it notes up one minute to do post it notes and then we'll get into our final conversation of the evening. Okay, facilitators, hands up, here we go. Our final conversation and topic of the evening. Final conversation and topic. We're going to talk about academic and extracurricular programs. Oop, facilitators, hands up, we gotta get to our last one here. Thank you, Dr. Campbell, thank you, Katie Pearl, thank you, Dr. Laura Davis-Brown. Final topic. Academic and extracurricular programs. When you think of this, this would be something like sports, music programs, etc. Framing question. What kinds of programs do you and or your student value the most and why? Topic. Academic and extracurricular programs. Framing question. What kinds of programs do you and or your student value the most and why? Please take five minutes of think and write time now.
As a reminder, we're on academic and extracurricular programs. Framing question, what kinds of programs do you and or your student value the most and why? Okay, facilitators, if you can start us in our final conversation, academic and extracurricular programs, 15 minutes.
Time check. 12 more minutes on this topic in conversation. 12 more minutes. Time check facilitators, nine more minutes on this topic in conversation, nine more minutes. We're on academic and extracurricular programs.
time check. Five more minutes. Five more minutes on this topic and conversation. Five more minutes. Two more minutes, two more minutes.
Okay, facilitators, hands up. Facilitators, hands up. Thank you, Dr. Eichner. Thank you, Kelly Vansel. Thank you, Paula Montgomery. I see you, Meg. Thank you so much. Who else is out there? Principal Zach, I see you. Thank you. Dr. Mercer, thank you. Principal Doug, I see you. Okay, here we go. Our final themes from our third topic of the evening. As a reminder, we were on academic and extracurricular programs. Some of the themes we heard are clubs, walk-on sports, student choice in what the programming is, sports in the elementary schools, music, arts, and theater, and more volunteer opportunities. So if you could take one minute to post your post-its and then I'll give us a closing message. One minute. About 10 more seconds, 10 more seconds. Okay, facilitators, hands up. Facilitators, hands up. Thank you so much, John, I see you. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you so much, Zach. Katrina Hunt, thank you so much. Douglas, thank you. Okay, so I wanna just take this moment to thank you all for your time and your support tonight. As a recap of our timeline, here is where we are. There are no school site consolidations or closures for the 2023-2024 school year. As promised, community engagement sessions are in progress now no determination to close schools has been made, and no predetermined school closure list exists. In September of 2023, an electronic survey will be released district-wide to families, high school students, staff, and community partners to gather additional input. While more than 700 individuals have signed up to attend our in-person sessions this summer, we want to follow up with our entire school community. The input gathered will be compiled into report used to inform decisions on upcoming major SPS initiatives. And finally, our last upcoming meeting around our well-resourced schools engagement will be online on Tuesday, August 29th at 5.30 p.m. I just wanna take a, take a moment to thank you all for coming. We appreciate the story. We appreciate your voice. Please know that this is very important for us Please get home safely, and thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>